video number two doing rotors and pads on a uh, 2017 Mazda 3 let me switch views here so this is the Mazda 3 2017 my son is going to explain how to put it into maintenance mode so we could uh, do the brakes and rotors all right now we're going to put the Mazda into maintenance mode because it has electric parking brakes. So my son's going to show us how to do it. So you push the start button twice. And you're going to push down all the way on the accelerator until you hear the click. Push down on the electronic parking brake. Push your start button three times. And then you're going to wait. You'll hear the electronic parking brake motors working. And then after a while, you'll see this P with an exclamation point pop up on the dash. That means you're in service mode. So you can turn the car off and then turn it back on and you'd still see it there. This symbol right here. So now we're in maintenance mode and we can start pulling the wheels off and the rotors. Okay, so, all right, so first thing we have to do is we gotta take off the caliper. Uh, the caliper's 13 uh, millimeters, so we're gonna remove that, and pull this whole assembly right off. We've already inspected the um, disc. The back side of it is all grooved out, so we're gonna replace it. whole thing spinning uh, hold this for me I think it's a 15 but... okay. yeah that's a 15 all right what I'm running into is I turn my bolt this one here is also spinning this bolts into here it's not supposed to turn they do but that's all right it's part of the process there you go nope nope camera so after many rushes later it's 17 
All right, what we'll need, you know the little coat hangers I have hanging in there, little pieces? Yeah. Grab me a coat hanger. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this caliper, and hang it in this bracket here so it's out of the way. But this is the electric motor housing on the caliper. Here's your electric line coming in. And then, uh, I'm not sure what that is. It might be a sensor or something. No, that's fine. Right there. All right, next. Pads. No, well, here are your pads. Get a flathead screwdriver. Mm. Yeah, we can pop those off. So while I'm doing all this, I'm also showing my son how to do this. So he could always do it. One thing we want to check while we're here, we don't want to pull the slides off. We want to clean these off with a rag. Hey, grab a rag pull for me, please. Yeah. Clean these off with a rag and put on new slide grease. Thanks. Too much left on these pads. Again, pretty thin there, so the timing is good. Ready to put the slides. So see that groove? Those two grooves. That's what makes the rotor bad and wear and prematurely wears out your pads. Thickness on this, not too bad compared to the front one, but that's not a good sign there. That's wear and tear. So the pads we keep there, because we're going to reuse them again. Uh, in the green closet, yeah, gray bottles, ATCs, and then this uh, grease, brake grease slide is, uh, I think it's a white bottle with black lettering on it. All right, I'm going to show you something inside here. This bolt here, you can see that? This bolt here, and this bolt here is what holds your caliper on. So next we're taking off the caliper. The uh, bolts that hold your caliper on are 14 millimeter. Yeah, blue is Loctite. That's medium. Red and orange is a uh, high. Do you have blue Loctite? Yes. Green cabinet, top shelf, right side. We can get it when we put it back on. All right. These will have to be clean. See the rust in them? On no. no, that's just the type of bolt. Now we got a brake caliper housing off or bracket, caliper bracket. Now we gotta take this off. Now, sometimes from the manufacturer, they'll have like a, uh, it's a special washer that has little things that stick in to hold this. But uh, this doesn't have it, which is nice, because they're a pain in the butt to get off. So what we'll need now is a hammer. Inter 
Oh, I do. All right. See this hole right here? Uh, we use a metric bolt and we screw it in here and it'll pop it off. Only one. I thought you had brought me a third. Yeah, you placed on the other side. Oh. through to push it off that was our contact point for the bolt so a little rusted we'll clean that up we'll definitely put uh, anti-seize grease on this so the new hub not hub the new disc will not stick to that Great product for this. It just doesn't doesn't wash off that easily. I wouldn't call it waterproof, but it just prevents rust from taking hold. You coat it this is where the uh, caliper housing is bolted to, so it's metal on metal. See the new one has a hole in there as well. Look at that. All right, let's do the caliper housing back on. So you can see this shiny part here on the caliper housing. That's gonna go on the inside. That's the inside right here. When we put it back in. These bolts that hold the housing in, or uh, the caliper housing they don't need loctite on them Just a little, little anti-seize in there and i already put anti-seize on the inside there you see that on the surface so this surface against that surface the metal against metal it won't rust to it
is. Oh, these are different. These are not the same pads. Go check the other set that you've ordered. I had a little delay. We had the wrong pads for a we had pads for non-electric brake. These are electric brakes, so the prongs that stick out here are in a different position. So now we're back at it. Can I hand me one? Hand me one? Yeah. You see the this is important here. Go on this one. See this here, this is this here. Do you recall? Switch. You can look at the markings on here, maybe. Versus, so yeah. this one got, this one was on the outside. It's the thinner of the two. This one has, so this one has the tabs up here, and this one has okay. the inner tabs. You can't. See the two tabs here, and the two tabs here, different position. So one pad goes in the inside and one pad goes in the outside. So looking at the old ones, <laughs> this one was on the outside because there's no groove. So that's our outside pad. Before I put these on, I always put little indices in here. Slide. I got it. Oh, you got it? All right. So, little antices there, little antices there, because that's what your caliper is pressing against. Now, on hydraulic calipers, I've always had to squeeze this part of the caliper back in. I don't know if I have to on electric. It's still a hydraulic caliper, it just has an electric spark in the brake. Yeah, that makes sense. It's hydraulic, Dad. Is it? Yeah, it's just the electric part in the brake is this part, and that's hydraulic stuff. Huh? No, like, you just push it right in. Yeah. Well, we do it against this. There. Ta da! Oh, we gotta put our slides in. Yeah. Here's your waist for it. Here's the bottom one. You put your glides in. There are two different glides. The bottom one always has the rubber on it. There's no such thing as putting too much grease on this. That, excuse me. When you put these back on, I found if you turn the bolt, the rubber boot will eventually slide 
over the lip like it just did. Alright. Where's the other? This one has a flat side to pull too far. Yep. Somewhere brought out a two of that. And that's how we do the rear rotor and the rear brake pad on a Mazda 3. And remember that when you buy the rear brake pads, there's one that'll say Mexican, made in Mexico, excluded e-brakes. But these are electric brakes, so you need to get pads that are for made in Mexico, including electric brakes. So now that we've Got both wheels done. We're going to show you how to turn the maintenance off on the parking. Now that we've changed the rotors and the rear pads, we are going to take the electric parking brake off of maintenance setting. So press the start button twice again. Maintenance P with the exclamation point will still be on. Gas pedal all the way down till the click. Pull up on the electric parking brake, hold it. And then while doing that, press the start button three times. Still holding the parking brake up and your foot all the way to the floor on the gas. all three clicks okay so part two take two start button twice gas pedal all the way to the floor electric parking brake up one two three you hear the parking brake cycle and now the P is and off. now the P is off to the left of that and red so signal. Should turn the car off, turn it on, that should be off. So it's no longer on. So that ends the video or the recording of how to do the rear brakes in uh, discs on a Mazda 3, year of 2017. That's the year of the car. Um, with electric parking brake. Because it is totally different with a car that does not have electric parking brake. So hopefully this helps someone or gives an idea, someone an idea out there on how to do it if they want to do it at their house. 
Uh, it was also a learning point for my son. So I did one side and then I had him do 100% of the other side. And I just stood behind and watched him. So it was a great learning thing for my kids to learn how to do or I should say maintain their own cars. And that's the whole point help people maintain their old cars and kind of keep the costs down when it comes to doing this. I do not know what he paid for in regards to the brake pads or the new discs, but he did use a um, place I like to get most of my parts is Rock Auto. Not that I'm advertising them in, uh, intentionally, but I'm just letting everyone know this is where I get my parts. I tend to get a better price. So if this helped anyone out there, Give me a thumbs up. Uh, don't forget to subscribe. And uh, I think that's it. Have a wonderful night.